morning students hope you welcome to adesh vidyalaya education online class welcome to all children class 8 subject science unit 2 force science pressure today we are going to study about pascal's law pascal's law was formulated by blaise pascal to describe the effects of pressure within a liquid the pascal's law states that the pressure applied at any point of a liquid at rest in a closed system will be distributed equally through all regions of the liquid in simple words the pressure inside the fluid is same throughout in all directions when the fluid is in rest the pressure inside the fluid is same throughout in all directions when the fluid is in rest Let's explain Pascal's law to a simple activity. So now we know water or any liquid can apply pressure in all the directions. Let us perform one more experiment. We take a rubber ball filled with water and now we pierce holes in it with pen in different places. If we press it hard water will rush out of all the holes with equal force you know the scientist pascal said if we apply pressure at any point of confined fluid it will be transmitted without any change to every other point in the liquid which means the pressure will be transmitted equally in all the direction so the pressure we apply is transmitted equally in all the direction thus water is coming out of all the holes with the same pressure this is known as pascal's law or pascal's principle application of pascal's law now we know the pascal's law but we should know the application of pascal's law Pascal's law is applied in many devices like the hydraulic press, hydraulic lift, and hydraulic brake. These hydraulic machines are based on the principle of transmission of pressure in liquids. Let us learn about their functions. First, this is hydraulic lift. In an automobile service station, the vehicle sorry. Lifted upward for doing any mechanic work using the hydraulic lift, which works on the principle of Pascal's law. This is hydraulic brakes. It also works on the principle of transmission of pressure in liquids. There is Pascal's law. These hydraulic brakes are used in automobiles. This is hydraulic press. The hydraulic press is used to for pressing balls of cotton, paper, metal sheets. and even for extraction of oil from seeds now let's see the working mechanism of hydraulic machines through a simple activity
Next is surface tension. Before we talk about the surface tension, I would like to ask few questions. Why are the rain drops spherical in nature? A liquid flowing out of a very small opening of a tube or tap comes out in the form of fine drops, not as a continuous stream. Why? How does the water rise upward in a tree or plant against the force of gravity? All these questions have an answer due to surface tension. Before we explaining the surface tension, just watch this simple activity. Activity, we saw that paper tips was floating due to surface tension. What is surface tension? Surface tension is a force acting along the surface per unit length or you can say the force acting per unit length along the surface is called surface tension. Surface tension is force acting along the surface per unit length or Force acting per unit length along the surface is called surface tension. The unit of surface tension is Newton per meter. See, this is a beaker. We have water in it. Let us consider a water molecule here. We consider this point as A. We see that at the point A, we consider water molecule. This molecule is being attracted by all the sides by the cohesive force. We know the cohesive force is a force applied between the molecules of the same kind. So, we see that this water molecule is being attracted by cohesive force in all the sides. But all the forces have an equal, equal and an opposite force. So, this force is cancelled out. The net force acting on this water molecule is zero. Now, let us consider a particle here. Let us consider this point is B. We see that this particle is present at the top that means the upper surface. It is being attracted by the particles present below it that is from this side, from this side. But there are no forces from the upward direction that means all the forces are from downwards only. But there, so there is no force here from the upward direction to balance this downward force. So that means the net force acting on this water molecule is only downward pull. So we can see all the molecules present in the free surface exhibiting downward pull. Because no other force acting on the upward to balancing this downward force. Therefore, these the surface molecules undergo a tension and they try to come closer to each other and they occupy less surface area. So the liquid surface appears to be a stretched membrane. This is called surface tension. The condition necessary for surface tension is there should be a free liquid surface in contact with the air. So, due to surface tension, the upper free surface appears to be a stretched membrane and due to which the molecule starts coming closer to each other, that is, it tries to contract actually and occupy a less surface area. The cause behind that is the molecule present at the surface is being attracted by downward force as there is no force acting from the upper surface for balancing this downward force. So the surface molecule undergone tension and come closer and appears to be a stretched membrane. Applications of surface tension. Due to surface tension, the liquid drops appear spherical shape. 
water spreader in front slides on the water surface easily due to the surface tension of water in plants the water rises up through the small xylem vessels narrow xylem vessels due to surface tension during a heavy storm sailors pour soap water or oil into the sea near their ship to decrease the surface tension of sea water this process reduces the impact of wind and water current against the all the ship next let's study about the viscous force or viscosity In this activity, the pouring of water takes the sub time comparing with the pouring of honey. So, there is a distinct difference in the ability of liquids to flow. So, the ability of liquids to resist to flow due to frictional force between the layers of liquid is called viscosity. Water has a low viscosity, so it flows freely. But the substance like honey, oil, have a high viscosity so they are they flow very slowly next is home fun students are asked to study these questions and write a spoon test first question how does surface tension help a plant second question which has greater viscosity oil or honey oil Third question, how do sailors protect their ship during a heavy storm? Fourth question, write down three applications of Pascal's law. Thank you.